In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add custom firmware to your PSP. This is the version of PSP that I have running on my PSP right here. I'm going to head over to system settings. Then I'm going to head over to where it says right here to where it says system. System information. Then you see I'm running version 6.6.0. .6 now we're going to be adding custom firmware to your PSP. But make sure you have enough power on your PSP or make sure you your memory stick that you have inserted into your PSP has a bunch of storage because if you're not have a bunch of storage then your PSP will not update or get the custom firmware and it will take forever to update so make sure you have enough storage on your PSP and make sure you have battery so that your battery does not die when you want to install the custom firmware you can connect your PSP either, either via the USB cable or via the memory stick you can take out the memory stick and put it into a card reader that will read your memory stick into your computer now what you want to do is you want to connect your usb cable into your computer and this will automatically connect your computer with your psp you see the psp automatically connect if you do not get this usb mode automatically what you need to do is, is click l and then you want to scroll all the way to settings Right here, scroll to settings, then you're going to be seeing USB connections. Click on USB connections, and then it's going to be showing USB connections. Then you have the PSP, and what you want to do now is you want to download this custom firmware right here. You want to download this firmware called PSP 6.1 Infinity. And then the first thing we're going to be installing is going to be OFW. Then you have OFW for 1000, 2000, 3000 or street model. If you have a PSP Go, you want to install OFW for Go. But, but if you do not have a PSP Go and you have a regular PSP, like I have, then you want to install OFW for 1000, 2000 or street. And then what you want to do is you on your PSP, you want to head over to PSP, head over to game. And then you want to either either add a new file and then you want to call this update call this file update make sure it's all in caps so it will, it will not work now what you need to do is you want to drag the custom firmware which is 6.61 update onto your PSP then you need to open up the PSP folder and you want to rename the file called eboot Rename it, rename the file from 6.61 PBP to eBoot and make sure this is all in capital letters as well. Now what you can do is you can update your PSP, remove the memory stick or the USB cable from your computer, eject it, click continue. And then you and then you can head over to your PSP and then you can install the update. You you only need to do this if you're not updated to 6.61. But if you're updated to 6.61, you can skip to the next step. Head over to game, then memory stick. Then you're going to be seeing PSP update version 6.61. And I have the version 6.60 on my PSP. Now you want to open up this file. And then what you need to do is this start. Then you need to go to the whole setup process on the PSP to update your PSP. Click on the, the right arrow, then click on accept, then click on X. Then it's going to be updating your PSP from version 6.60 to 6.61. Just let your PSP update. Now what you want to do, you can press X and then it's going to be restarting your PSP. When you press X, it's going to be restarting your PSP. Now we can head over to settings so we can verify that your PSP is updated. Click system, system settings, then click on system information. System information, then you see we are updated to version 6.61 instead of 6.60. So that means that your PSP is updated now. Now what you want to do is you want to head to the game file. Head to the game file, then click on the memory stick, open it up. Then you want to click on the triangle and then you want to delete this file because you do not need that. And because it's going to get in the way when you want to install more files on your PSP. So click delete. Then it's going to be asking yes. Then it's deleted. You see now it says no more games are installed on your PSP. What you need to do now is you want to reconnect your PSP either from the memory stick or from the USB cable. Reconnect it from the USB cable again. 
Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Infinity onto your PSP. Head back to your PSP, then you see Infinity 2.0.3. You want to open that up, and then you have the PSP PSP Go Go or the PSP Standard. What you want to do is if you have a PSP Go, you want to install the PSP Go version. But if you have a PSP Standard which is the street model, 1000, 2000, 3000, or any other version of the PSP, you want to install the PSP standard. But if you have the PSP Go, install the PSP Go f f for the PSP that you want. Now what you want to do is you want to grab the version you want, or whatever version you have for the PSP, open this up. Then you see you have eboot.pbp. On your PSP, you want to create a new folder on your PSP called update click on psp game and then you want to create a new folder and you want to title it update but make sure this is all in capital letters it was this will not work now you want to drag in the eboot.pbp file onto your psp depending on the version of the psp you're going to have to be doing this for the psp go as well now what you want to do is you want to install the version that you want to install on your psp you want to head back and then you're going to be installing the cfw which is the version you want to install on your PSP. You, you either have Lime 2.3 for the version that you want or you even have Pro C2. I'm going to be doing Lime but it's basically the same version right here for the PSP. Then what you want to do is you want to install whatever version you want onto your PSP right here. I'm going to be doing 6.61 Lime. And then you want to copy these folders. Do not copy the text folders because you do not need those. Now copy these. Make sure you copy your PSP files into the PSP root of the PSP. Do not copy it into the PSP folder and then put it into the game folder because this will not work. What you need to do is you want to have this installed right here. Install it like this. Click paste. Then it's going to be installing everything you want on your PSP. Then when you head into the PSP you're going to be seeing that you have these files right here. You have some new files. Installer, launcher, and update. Now what you want to do is you want to head back to the PSP and then you want to eject your PSP now. Eject your PSP. Eject your PSP and now you can head to the PSP. And then click O and then head to the game file on your PSP. Then click on memory stick. If you do not have this installed on your PSP, then you probably did something wrong and you want to reinstall it or retry it again with the step that I showed you. Now, what you want to do is you can install Infinity right here. Click Infinity. Then it says press X to install Infinity. Then it's going to be installing Infinity on your PSP. And then you want to click on X to reboot. Now, what you want to do is head to the PSP memory stick and then you want to install Either the pro version that you have, or you want to install the Lime installer for 6.61. Open this up. And then, you're going to be installing the software that you want for the updater, so that you can get custom firmware on your PSP. Just keep pressing X again and again till you get to the end of your PSP. Then your PSP should be rebooting. Once it's done, installing the little version update for the lime version that you used or whatever version you used it's going to be the same steps that i have now what you want to do is you want to open up infinity one more time and then you want to install your version that you want right here you see infinity open it up now you want to click right here where it says left then you have pro cw cfw or you want me cfw you want that one right there Click on me CFW, then you want to right click again, then right click again, then it says the update is already installed 2.0. It's already installed on your PSP. Now if you want to exit out of this, click on the PSPS button. Then it says press X to exit or the R trigger to return. Now what you want to do is you can either restart your PSP so that you can see that you got the custom firmware. Now you want to turn on your PSP. To see that you got custom firmware. Now, if you press either select or start button, you're going to be getting this little menu, meaning that you are updated to the infinity and you got custom firmware on your PSP. You see? You see this little menu? 
that pops up when you press the select button means that you got custom firmware you see you got custom firmware installed on your PSP now I'm gonna click on exit then we can go to your PSP settings go to settings then click on where it says system then you want to scroll down to where it says system settings and then you see right here it says 6.61 lime 2.3 infinity right there so that means that you installed your infinity lime on your PSP. That's it for this video guys on how you can get custom firmware on your PSP. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more how-to videos on how you can get custom firmware on your PSP. 